and that's going to go right down. We've got this ring mold here. We're going to take our burger press and smash, smash, smash it down. And our ring mold is going to contain all of that meat. We give it a nice press. Get two hands in there. Use some muscle. Cooking is an all interactive, full body experience. Salt and pepper, caramelized onions. Usually raw onions go on a Big Mac, but I wanna make this a little more luxurious. And we're going mozzarella cheese in the middle here. We're gonna top this patty off with another patty for a stuffed burger. And let's season the top of this off with salt and pepper. And we'll let that sear on the underside and then give it a flip. And now we're gonna flip this monster Juicy Lucy. Beautiful. Let that sear on the other side. The cheese is gonna melt. All right, our Juicy Lucy patty. We're gonna transfer it right on top of those tater tots. Excellent. And now what we're gonna do American cheese right over the top. Because it's not a Big Mac without American cheese. Secret sauce is actually mustard, mayonnaise, and ketchup. So it's no longer a secret. You know the McDonald's famous sauce. And now we're going to top this off with more tater tots here. Smooth it out for one even layer. And now let's start to wrap this up. We're just gonna go around, follow the perimeter, and wrap this up in bacon. And once this cooks in the oven, it's gonna be super savory. All of that bacon fat is gonna meld right into this Big Mac pie to create an epic, epic burger sensation. Bacon Big Mac pie. Let's take this white plate here and invert it now we do a flip look at that beauty right there bacon is nice and crispy and let's make our special sauce combination here a nice spiral of mayonnaise spiral of mustard yellow mustard and then ketchup for our special sauce combination here and now it's not a Big Mac without shredded iceberg lettuce so we can just put that right around the edge there. So we don't want to cover our beautiful Big Mac pie. Got some dill pickles here. And we're just going to go all over the top. And now let's slice a piece of this pie and reveal what we have on the inside. One ample amount of pickles in there. And that bacon border looks to die for and look at that Ooh, that nice cheese in the middle double cheese the juicy lucy big mac bacon wrapped i'm gonna flip this over i'm gonna get a nice square give this some color we've got our herbs We're gonna separate that. Take this over here. Give us a little mix. Beautiful. We've got a little hack for you. We're gonna take a beer can and post it down the middle. We've got our mozzarella cheese. We're gonna stuff that. And we're gonna close our burger. Beautiful, we're gonna set this aside. We've got our bacon here. So I'm going to put onto my cutting board just like that. Bring this onto here. We're going to wrap on one side. Folding that. Set this aside. We've got a little trick for you again. We're going to put this down onto our cutting board. Take our bacon. Wrap one more time. I'm going to finish firming my burger. Put it aside. We're gonna cook these guys for five to 10 minutes on each side. 
And we're on to our next step. Flip that over. Look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna turn off my spleen. We're gonna let these guys cool down, get all those juices in there. And we're gonna come over, heat up our fire. And we're gonna heat this up. Make sure that gets nice and hot. I'm gonna turn this over. We've got our salsa verde I prepared before. It smells amazing. We've got our tomatillos. We've got our grilled onions for some nice flavor. Add a little bit more. Now, for some extra heat, I'm gonna add some nice chili. What's a Mexican dish without jalapenos? We've got some lime. I'm gonna squeeze some on here. Beautiful, this smells amazing. And some fresh cilantro. We're gonna let that simmer down a little. Get all those beautiful colors in there. This smells amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go on to my tortilla. I'm gonna put some beans on here. We've got our little corn salad going on. Some cheese. Some lettuce. You know, gotta pretend like we're healthy sometimes. And we're gonna take some of our green salsa, our roasted onion, some jalapeno, and some more salsa verde. We're gonna close this. Mmm, smells so good. Putting this onto our grill, get that nice and toasted. Now that these have toasted perfectly, I'm gonna put them onto my platter. Put them onto our platter. We're gonna take the top of our tortillas. Now we've got our pico de gallo. It's a beautiful color. Some hot sauce. Some fresh coriander from before. Get some beautiful color going. Mmm, smells so good, guys. And for our last part, we've got our cute little flowers. We are going to butter this grill up. Get some beautiful thinly sliced onions. We're gonna place our meat patties here. You can see it has a nice amount of fat. You're looking at about 80, 20 here. Get yourself some nice salt. And smash these. Now we give these a little flip. Keep your onions on there. What is next? The cheese, of course. We go like this. After that, some delicious bacon. Grab our last patties, place them here, get ourselves some beautiful butter. We drop a piece of butter for each bun that we will be using. Um, grab that butter, bring it over. Let's form this nice circle of these buns that are overlapping. Come over here, butter. There we go, give it a little press. Get yourself some parchment paper, cover it, one more, and after that, with the rolling pin, slowly, gently, press this, roll it all the way out, and then come back. Alright, now, 
Buns are nice and flat. Remove that. And grab them. Give them a flip. Try not to break your pattern. Perfect. Grab that. Get yourself some burger sauce. Spread it on there. Cannot forget the cheese. There we go. Get yourself some lettuce, shredded lettuce. We are using iceberg here, our favorite, nice and crunchy. So now carefully, we will put this to the side, just in the meantime. And now it's time for assembly. So we grab our first patty twin, place it right there. Just like that, beautiful. It's here and some fresh pickles and tomatoes. Close it up and tight. Get yourself some fries. Don't forget the fries. And now all you gotta do is enjoy. <laughs> 